Hi, my name's Jack and I'm back this week to talk to you about how you can automate really difficult paper-based processes that can really help you save valuable time and actually improve accuracy and efficiency. So when we've been speaking to our customers, we found that a lot of people find that it's overly expensive to create an app that can manage paper-based processes such as on-site documents, order forms, job applications, or even any HR functions. And the truth is that it doesn't really need to be that difficult. With Microsoft 365, you can utilize the Power Platform to build specific bespoke Power Apps without needing any code at all. And that really helps you save money from not building apps and utilizing Microsoft 365 to be able to boost efficiency and record visual end-to-end -end processes, giving you insights into those manual processes that you do have. And it also allows you to enhance workflows with things like AI by recording information that will automatically identify trends for you. If you're unsure about whether it's worth building your app or trying to automate some of your own more manual processes, it's probably worth considering how it's benefited other organizations. One example that springs to mind is Mavi, a film production company that needed a better way of onboarding their staff. As they utilized a network of many different freelance experts, the onboarding of these individuals was a constant task that was often very difficult and took a number of weeks because of the paper-based processes that they had in place. By using Power Apps, they were able to build their own onboarding application from scratch and they were able to take that process from two weeks to literally just 40 minutes. If your processes directly affect your customers, you can not only save your own team's time and effort, but you can make the process for your customers a smooth and efficient experience. So if you're thinking about whether or not that manual process can be automated, it's probably worth checking with an expert today to find out a little bit more. So that's a little bit about how to automate manual processes. I hope that's been useful for you today and make sure to vote for next week's poll.